Good morning from day three of the Oregon Coast Trail. It rained last night. Um, that's about it. We were in the campground. The kids were a little, little raucous, a little noisy, but we slept just fine. Today we're headed to Nahalem Bay where we will get a shuttle across from the folks at the Jetty Fishery and we'll continue our way. Corey's on his dead bird shit again. Oh. All right, time to wave down the Jetty folks. The Jetty Fishery water trolley. Get a ride over there. Can you see the seals over there? Oh, they're moving. Don't be scared, it's okay. It's okay. No, don't wiggle away. They're all scampering away. Here comes our ride. Hi, sweet boy. Hello. Today we have a it's it and a hot cocoa at the fishery. What it tastes like? Eat it. It's like a slug. That is huge. Yeah. I think it's the neck or anything. Oh, well, those are waiting for you to throw it. Oh, <laughs> so good. Right after a quick pit stop, we're leaving the jetty fishery and headed down to Garibaldi, Rockaway Beach. Yeah. steam engine, railroad, car, train. Pretty cool, huh? Well, we're walking kind of close to it. Probably dangerous, but you know. All right, this trail does not disappoint. I know it's kind of windy, so I'll talk loud, but we found a senior gal walking on the beach naked. And upon questioning, she seemed confused, so of course we called the police to come do a welfare check on her. And unfortunately, she's walking the same direction as we are while we're waiting for the police to come. So we're keeping an eye on her. So, uh, you never know what could happen out here. Uh, check in on your loved ones, especially your elderly ones, who may be uh, slipping into dementia because you don't want to hear about your granny walking on the beach nude on a Wednesday for three hours, so, okay. I'll get her taken care of, we'll make sure she's safe. I'll give her my clothes if I have to. <laughs> Hiker trash does teleport. Hi, what is it? Mm, I mean, good. <laughs> we got some mac and cheese here. Mm. Cheesy.
All right, filled with cheese and ice cream. And we got some samples to try today. Like all the little geodes and stuff in here. And little gems. Coast Trail. Day four. We are leaving Oceanside and headed to Neatarts for coffee that I can't have because my bladder spasms. But maybe I could get a Danish. But good morning. Last night the ocean lulled us to sleep. Yesterday was an eventful day all around with lots happening. Tillamook factory, rescuing a naked lady, more beach walking. So today it looks like we'll be in a little less amenity filled section after we leave Neatarts. And uh, I think we're excited to have a more traditional hiking day. So we'll see, we'll see what we can get into today. Okay, so we just got over to Cape Lookout where we had lunch and as we're walking towards the trail we see that there is a, the trail is closed. So we are headed back out to try to hitch around Cape Lookout and get on the south trail and see if that might be a little easier to access. Um, unfortunately out here, that's kind of the gamble as you're always looking and it requires such intense planning as far as, excuse me, um, like trail closures, road connections. We've spent most of our day walking on the road anyway. So we'll see if we can hitch around because it is kind of a treacherous road. But uh, yeah, see if we can connect back up with the trail on the other side of Cape Lookout because this side is closed. All right, so we just got picked up at the Cape Lookout Trailhead and the wonderful trail angel Dan gave us a ride into Link, where are we at? Pacific, Pacific City, City. Um, because of the trail closures and the roadblocks. So we are gonna be camping here tonight and we're gonna hop in the hot tub real quick before we go to dinner. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so we are at the Kiwanda RV park in Lincoln. No, where are we at? Pacific City. Um, today was mostly a road walk, and then we got to Cape Lookout where it was closed, and so then we had to hitch around, and then we just came into um, town. We got picked up by Old We got picked up by the best trail angel ever, Dan. And we got to go in the hot tub. Then we got taken to Mexican and I had scallop fajitas and oh my god, they were good. And then now we're back here at this RV park in a very small tent site, as you saw. And there are kids driving by very fast on their bicycles. I'm gonna put sticks in all their spokes. And Corey wants to assault children. Good thing we're not planning on having children in life. Um, but tomorrow we are going to skip another road walk on Highway 101. Um, Dan, our trail angel, is going to help us get around that because he thinks it's going to be very unsafe as well and there's not real shoulder on 101. We'll take any assistance getting around those miles that we can get. And uh, for now, that's just going to be good night from day, I think, four. <laughs> And we'll see you tomorrow on day five. Hopefully we'll have something a little more exciting for you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.